moments like this, a total solar ellipse. It's a moment when millions of people across North America will look to the heavens as the moon passes in front in between the sun of the, and the earth. And it's a rare sight. Often said that at NASA, our mission is for all humanity, and that's because space brings us together. There's no better proof than moments like this, a total solar ellipse. It's a moment when millions of people across North America will look to the heavens as the moon passes in front in between the sun of the, and the earth. And it's a rare sight that we haven't seen in seven years. And unusual things start to happen as the normal rhythms of earth are disrupted. When you're seeing this eclipse, you ought to observe this. As the day appears to turn to dusk and then dark, people have heard birds stop singing. They've seen giraffes suddenly begin to gallop. Roosters start crowing and crickets chirp. So watch for these unusual behaviors. And we encourage you to help NASA observe the sights and sounds around you. Eclipses have a special power. They move people to feel a kind of reverence for the beauty of our universe. Their power is not only to unify us on Earth, but to further science and discovery. In 1919, Albert Einstein's theory of gravitational bending was proven when scientists measured how stars shift when the sun is blocked out by the moon. And today, over a century later, a total solar eclipse still brings great opportunity in science. Pam is going to share a little bit more about how NASA missions will use this rare moment to advance science. Safety is always NASA's number one priority, and that remains true for this solar, solar eclipse. Make sure you have the proper eye protection, like the eclipse glasses, and as you look at the heavens on April the 8th, when the eclipse starts, please, please put those glasses on. Of course, we're super excited. I mean, we are incredibly excited and have been building up to this moment, anticipating the solar eclipse and the incredible scientific opportunities, which it's my joy to talk to you about today. At NASA, we explore the unknown in air and space, and so we're always looking at pushing that cutting edge of science. We really want to learn more about the universe and our place in it. The thing that's so unique about a solar eclipse is that it's an opportunity to look at three celestial bodies 
the earth, the moon, and the sun in entirely different ways than we usually do. And our scientists are going to take full advantage of this celestial event to get invaluable data. One focal point is definitely the sun's atmosphere or the corona. So this is a very elusive region and it can be viewed during a solar eclipse in a very special way. It's key to understanding fundamental questions about how heat and energy are transferred out into the solar wind, which contributes to our understanding not just of solar dynamics, but also how solar flares and the solar wind will affect life here on Earth. Things are happening with the corona that we don't fully understand, and the eclipse gives us a unique opportunity to collect data that may give insights into the future of our star. And it just so happens we're at solar maximum. So the chance we're going to see something amazing is very high. We're also leveraging this unique opportunity to look at the effect of the sun on the Earth's atmosphere, particularly the ionosphere. That's the electrically charged part of our atmosphere that can act as a conduit for many of our communications and navigation signals. So understanding how solar energy affects the ionosphere is crucial for predicting and mitigating potential disruptions to our technology. By observing the temporary decrease in sunlight at a much quicker time scale than we experience for sunrise and sunset, we're going to gain insights specifically into how sunlight affects the ionosphere. But as I mentioned, there are three bodies involved to make this eclipse happen. And thanks to highly precise mapping of the moon from our lunar reconnaissance orbiter, we can actually unlock new knowledge during an eclipse. Studying the moon's silhouette against the sun lets us learn more about the sun itself, allowing us to study solar active regions such as the chromosphere, very hard to see with a traditional uh, uh, coronagraph. We're also going to make use of the moon's terrain to study the sun's shape and size. And our detailed knowledge of the moon also allows scientists to predict the shape of the moon's shadow on Earth better than ever before. So in essence, we are thrilled about this opportunity to conduct amazing, valuable science during the eclipse.